Excel is a spreadsheet, so it's a place where you have to make your calculation. And please don't use a calculator. It's really old school now. So how do you create a calculation in Excel? It's very simple. You just have to start with equal. And here you can put your first value. Let's say 10 plus 5. Enter. So here in my cell B2, I have 15. But you can see that in my formula bar, I have 10 plus 5. So this is very important in Excel, because as you can notice, in my cell B2, I have a result 15, but in the formula bar, I have the formula who has created this result. So before to delete the content of a cell, it's very important to notice if it's just a figure like this one, for instance, 10, 10, 10, or like this, the result of a formula. So now I will present the different type of calculation you can do in Excel. So here, what we have done, it was addition. You can also, of course, create a subtraction, 100 minus 75. Multiplication equal 10 times 5, 15. And division, 14 divided by 3. Here, in that case, I have a decimal value and automatically Excel presents me the result as it is. I can change the number of decimal after the comma by clicking here or reduce like this. But I will present in another video the different type of format that exist in Excel about the figures. So now, about the number, let's create something else. Let's say I want to do 5 plus 2 times 3. So, what do you think here? What should be the result? 5 plus 2, 7 times 3, 21. Let's try. No, it's 11. Why? In Excel or in mathematics in general, there is prior between the different symbols of calculation. Multiplication and division, they have a higher prior than addition and subtraction. This is why here Excel has done 2 times 3 first, which is 6, and at this result 6, we have add 5. 5 plus 6 equals 11. It works. Another test, this time if I do 2 times 4 minus 3. So here, 2 times 4, 8, minus 3, 5. Enter. But now, if I really want to do this operation first, before the multiplication, I have to use a parenthesis. So, in that case, equal parenthesis 5 plus 2, I close my parenthesis times 3. And now I have 21. So you see the difference between this writing, 5 plus 2 times 3. The multiplication has been done before the addition here. But here with a parenthesis, first Excel calculate this part, 5 plus 2, 7 times 3. And this is how it works everywhere in Excel. So you have to really be careful of the way you create your formula. Now I show you in this example with the invoices. Here, let's make the calculation first of the taxes. It's 100 times 20%. And as you can notice, I can directly put the symbol percentage in my calculation. And for Excel, it's not a problem. So I press enter and I have 20. 20% 20 of 100, of course, it's 20. Now I do the calculation here times 20% and it would be 22. But here what I have calculated is just the tax, 
not the price that my client has to pay. So I have to add to these taxes the price of the unit. So how can I do that here? Once again, I put plus 100. And here, plus 110. Here we have the part of the calculation of the taxes and here the price of my product. So because here I have 100 and 100, I can write the formula like this. Equal 100 times 20% plus 1. So here, as you can see, I have exactly the same result as the previous calculation. But look at the difference between this calculation and this one. What I have done, I have extract 100 from this part of my calculation and this part, just 100, times the rest, that means 20% plus 1. 20% plus and 100 times 1, it's 100. This is why I have written 1 here and the result is the same. So if you are not familiar with mathematical operation, you can be a little bit confused, but take your time to understand, it's not so difficult. But now, let me show you what is the purpose of Excel, because just to rewrite the content of the cell like here and here, it's totally stupid, especially if I have a huge range of data, I'm not going to recopy again and again the content in the other cell. No, the best is to pick up this information in my formula. Look at that. So, I'm going to repro exactly this formula. But here, instead of 120%, I'm going to take this information here. So if I want to make just a calculation of the tax, what I have to do? Equal, like usually in Excel. Where is my price? It's here. So here, now in your formula, you don't have 100, but the address of my cell, E10, times the tax here in F10. Enter. And I have 20, exactly the result I was expected. And now, if I want to calculate the total of the price plus the tax, very easy, I just have to add the price again here. You can see the difference between this result and this result. Here I use the content of the cell, and of course this solution is the easiest, because like that I just have to select the content of the cell, where inside I have the value, like that I don't have to recopy again and again the values. Very easy. And of course, now if I want to reduce this writing like I did here, what I can do, it's equal price times tax plus one and it works again. And look at the magic now. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on the way to recopy a formula or the content of a cell. There is another video for that, but look at that. I just have to click on the small square here of my active cell. I click, I drag down, and I have copied all the formula for all my worksheet just like that. So, this is the end of the basic calculation on Excel, with values and with reference. Now, let's have a look on the different techniques of copy-paste in Excel.